welcome everyone to Jackson, Tennessee, here on the campus of Union University. Gulf South Conference Volleyball today featuring the Union University Lady Bulldogs and the Argos of the University of West Florida. So getting ready for the starting lineups. University of West Florida comes in with a record of 50, or excuse me, 22 and 7 overall, 14 and 1 in the Gulf South Conference and their win last night. They were able to clinch the number 1 seed. So congratulations to coach Walton and the the ladies from West Florida for a, another regular season championship. So we mentioned they're 14 and 1 in the Gulf South Conference this year. Union comes into this game with a record of 6 and 24 overall, 5 and 10 in conference play, much different than last year. These two teams faced off last year in the GSC title game. Union finished runner-up in the regular season last year. And we're also runner-up in the tournament, losing to West Florida in the, in the uh, GSC title game. Union last year set records for wins and placement as far as their time in D2 era. As you mentioned last night, Union, a great history in volleyball back in the NAI days, many conference championships, regional championship, a couple appearances in the NAI national tournament. So, a rich history of Union Volleyball here and a rebuilding year, a year where we have a new head coach in Kristen Blackburn and also a team that had to replace six of their seven starters if you count the libero from last year. Last year's record-setting team had to replace all but Reese Owens, the only returning starter for the Lady Bulldogs this year. So uh, a little bit of a learning curve, and they've done some great things and played a great match last night in a 3-1 loss to Auburn Montgomery. We mentioned Auburn Montgomery last night. They did clinch that third seed. Uh, Huntsville will be the second seed. Valdosta, Montevello, Mississippi College, West Georgia, and Lee are all in the tournament. Their seeds will be determined after today's games. Union Shorter, Christian Brothers, West Alabama are the four teams that will not play in postseason play this year. So the final game of the year for the Union Lady Bulldogs. So no doubt they want to go out with some uh, a good, good, good game on their home court here today against a very tough West Florida team. Union and West Florida met early in the year. West Florida won that match in Pensacola. 3-1, to one, Union was able to steal a set from them. This Union team has shown some great moments this year. Uh, played an outstanding first three sets last night. They were all very close. Union won one of them and lost the third set, 26-24, and then really just kind of ran out of gas in that fourth set, but this squad is, has really learned some things this year, and I think a couple of players added to this squad, and they'll be right back in the GSC tournament mix. West Florida, again, year after year, seems to be able to reload. And once again, they are your regular season champions here in the Gulf South Conference. And as a number one seed, they'll host first round games. Will be at the, the uh, or excuse me, they will host the tournament next week in Pensacola. So they're checking the lineups, making sure everybody starts in the right spots, making sure the scorekeepers have the lineups they need. Looks like everybody is about ready. Union will have the serve first here in Fred Delay Gymnasium. Everybody's straightened out now. Everybody's got – everybody's where they want to be right now. Union will have the serve first. It'll be Gracie Tacker to start things off. West Florida will have the first shot at the attack. And they make great of it. The left-hander, a very powerful kill, Demaya Joyner. Lake Wells, Florida. Make quick work of that first dig set attack. And West Florida leads 1-0. Very powerful team. Nationally ranked are the Argos. Also ranked in the region, looking to win out, win the tournament, improve their regional seeding. So they still got a lot to play for, do the Lady Argos here. They get another kill there that time. A 
Jackie Martin. Her number eluded me for the moment. 2 nothing lead for the Argos. There's an ace. It's a quick 3 nothing start for the Argos. That ace is credited to Emily Brazil. The freshman from Hoover, Alabama, back to serve another. Union controls that one. Anna Hampel with the attack, controlled by West Florida. Another one just in on the back line. It's 4 nothing. Yard goes up. This team still a lot to prove this year. Clinching the regular season title, obviously not enough for a team of a championship caliber. They've got other things on their mind. There's a big-time kill there from Union's powerful Jordan Moore. Union on the board. Jordan Moore led all players last night in the AUM game with 13 kills. And she hit over 400 for the night. Really powerful night. And AUM had some outstanding digs last night against Jordan. Or she'd have had several more kills. There's going to be an ace. Union get their second point. That ace credited Davy Slaughter from Mount Juliet, Tennessee. She's a sophomore. Back for another one. 4-2. Argo lead. Hit from the middle there. It's going to be it's going to get in there. Slaughter dough fart. Didn't quite get to it. Not able to scoop it up. Maybe scoop it up. Not the volleyball term there. Not able to dig it up. As it got down right in front of her on the floor. Put baseball on my mind. 5-2 Argo lead. Again, it's Stephen Aldridge filling in for Steve Beverly. He's been with you all year long except for last night and today. He had a family uh, event that he had to go to out of town. So we're filling in for him. Glad to do it. Appreciate Steve Beverly and all the things he did for us this year. And he'll be back with us. He'll be taking over and doing basketball audio as they uh, start coming in here the next week or so with some home games. So we appreciate Steve. We're glad to fill in for him here. We'll try to do our best for the game tonight. 6-2, Argos lead. Reese Owens back with the attack. And then she's the only returning starter from last year's team. Argos control it. Now back to Union for an attack. There's going to be a hit. Did they say it was tip? They do not. Just out of bounds over the back line. It'll be Argo point, 7-2 to two Argos. Another point for the Argos, 8-2. to two. Timeout on the floor. Union's going to call a timeout. It's 8-2 to two West Florida. We'll take a break. Be back right after these messages. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us. A promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Fred DeLay Gymnasium here on the campus of Union University. West Florida off to the early lead, 8-2, to two, have the, have the uh, volleyball. And the serve will be from Stephanie Barber, do you believe? Nope, that'll be Jackie Martin. 
There's going to be another kill for Jordan Moore. She's got the two kills for Union so far. And they're going to say no, that she was in the net. So take that point away from the Lady Bulldogs. Give it to the Argos. It's 9-2. to two. They called her in the net on that kill. Or somebody in the net. I believe they were pointing to her. But it negates the kill either way. There's going to be an ace. Union not able to handle that serve from Martin. Jackie Martin from Daphne, Alabama. Her team up 10 to 2. Going right back to Owens. Owens handled this one perfectly. Gets set up for the kill. It's handled by West Florida, and they'll quickly slap it back over. So instead of setting it, that was Moulton, and she just kind of hammered it back over. Caught Union off guard, 11 to 2. There's a serve in the net, so it'll be a Union point. We'll give the ball back to the Lady Bulldogs, 11 to 3. Anna Hampel will be the server. She's a senior. She was honored last night during the senior, day, senior night festivities, her and Anna Hampel. Lauren Burrell with the serve. Good block, sends it back over to West Florida side. West Florida will knock it in just inside the back line. And another point there, well-placed shot by Jenna Zidlow. Union hands to serve. Reese Owens with a chance, and she hammers that one back, and it's going to be a kill for Reese Owens as she hammered that one off the back line defender. And it goes up off the back wall. Nobody able to track it down. The libero today for West Florida. I think I failed to mention Meg Brecken. Spanish Fort, Alabama. She dives for that one, keeps it alive. Union now controls the ball. Reese Owens with another shot at it. And she gets another kill. Has this off the back line again. And it goes off into the bleachers. Back-to-back -back kills for Reese Owens. It's 12 to 5. Union still trailing. And the server for the Lady Bulldogs is Ashley Pruitt, the freshman from Memphis, Tennessee. Union controls it. Reese Owens tries it again. Another big hammer off the back line, and they're going to have to free ball it over. Union controls it. Stefanovic with a hit, and it's going to be just out wide as it bounces over into the West Florida bench. That stops the Union runs, 13-5. In favor of West Florida, out of Pensacola, Florida. I'm going to say hi to Brian Henry, the SID down there, and the entire sports communication staff. What a fine job he does. Point goes to Union as a rotation arrow, arrow error by West Florida. Coach Walton asking the down official, getting an explanation of what the whistle was about. It's going to be union points, 13 to 6. Reese Owens back to serve for the Lady Bulldogs. Reese Owens a junior from Arkansas. There's going to be an attack by West Florida. It's going to go out of bounds over to the union bench. So just wide there on that attack. Another attack's going to be long, 13 to 8. Union leading. Reese Owens still serving. Serve gets over, handled by the Argos. The attack sent back over to by Union's block, and it's going to be a block because that'll be four hits there for West Florida, not able to dig it up. They kept making contact with it, kept bouncing off of people, but nobody could get it up in the air, so the block is good. Looks like Ashley Pruitt. And I believe Hope Harrington also went on that block. Yes, Hope Harrington. They go try another one. They don't get this block as it goes down on the Union side of the net. Another powerful hit there by Joyner. 
The left-hander there, she's got a very, very powerful swing. Obviously one of their leaders in the kill category. 14 to nine Union trailing. Play is controlled by West Florida. Attack from the back row is gonna be dug by Union. Now Union will have an attack from the back row. West Florida. Another kill there, this time with a soft variety by Joyner. She went back to hammer it. And she pulled back a little bit, kind of duped it right in the empty area of Union's defense, and Riso was not quite able to dive for it. That serve goes out of bounds. Too long, 15 to 10, West Florida leading. Union with the serve. Hope Harrington back to serve. There's going to be an attack. It's going to be a kill for West Florida's joiner. Another one for the left-hander. She smacks that off the Union block, and it goes out of bounds. So point West Florida. And Hope Harrington there on that serve. Want to say hi to her grandmother, Mama Marsha, watching back, I believe, in Spokane, Washington area. We met her dad last night. They made the trip down for the weekend. Good to see them. We mentioned Spokane, Washington. About as far away as you can get from Jackson and still be in the Continental US 48. There's another kill by Joyner. That time it goes straight down the Union block inside the Union side. Joyner leaving her mark on this first set. It's 17 to 10. Gonna get something out of this one. It's gonna be blocked back. That block's gonna be credited to Jenna Zidlow and also Martin. Kind of a block assist as you look at it. It's 18 to 10. West Florida leading here in set number one. Back to serve for West Florida now for the second time, Sterling. Bailey Sterling. She's a graduate student from Kearney, Kearney rather, Nebraska. She gets an ace. She'll go back and do it again. It's 20 to 10. Attack by West Florida is going to be outside the uh, antennas. It'll be Union Point. Gracie Tacker back in the game. Also, Sydney Whitaker. Tacker will do the serving honors now. 20 to 11, West Florida leading. That serve goes backwards off the West Florida defense, so they'll free ball it back over to Union. Jordan Moore will get an attack. It's going to be dug by the Argos. Now another kill there, and it's going to be a kill for West Florida as Martin. Martin has four kills now. Joyner leads the team with five. Union has just three kills, two of those from Owens, one from Moore. 21 to 11, the score here in set number one. And an ace. Ace credited to Brazil. Hoover, Alabama native. Union's got a couple of Hoover, Alabama players on their team. Correction, I was thinking Huntsville. Union has a couple of Huntsville, Alabama natives. Another point for the Argos is that block goes down inside the Union side of the net. It'll be 23 to 11. Brazil still serving for the Argos. Handled by Union. The attack will be from Whitaker. It's going to be out of bounds. Just long. 24. Set point for the Argos here. Set number one, 24 to 11.
and that'll be an ace. And that'll end set number one, 25 to 11. 25 to 11, the Argos win set number one. We'll take a break and be back with some stats and set number two. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Welcome back to Fred DeLay Gymnasium here on the campus of Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Gulf South Conference Volleyball, last day of the regular season. As we said, the tournament will start next week for eight teams. We know those eight teams. Those have been set before last night. Uh, West Florida, Huntsville, Montgomery, Upper Montgomery, Valdosta State, Mississippi College, Montevello, West Georgia, and Lee are all in the tournament. Last night, West Florida clinched the one seed. Huntsville locked into the two seed. And last night's opponent for Union right here was Auburn Montgomery. They locked themselves with the win into that third seed. Seeds four through eight will be determined after today's game, as we mentioned, the last game of the regular season. Union, along with Shorter Christian Brothers in West Alabama, will be playing their final games of the year today. 25-11 to 11 was the first set, West Florida Led that from the beginning, jumped out to a quick 4-0 lead and then never looked back. Joyner leads West Florida with five kills. She's hitting 1,000, five kills in five attempts. Martin has four kills in five, in, uh, five attempts. She's hitting 600. They've also got two kills from Zidlow and Monaco. Has a kill, and Malton, Malton has a kill. Looking at Union, just three kills in that first set. Two of them from Reese Owens, one from Jordan Moore. Jordan Moore had 13 last night against the three-seed AUM. Had a, had a massive night. Could have been more. AUM was pretty good defensively against her. Robbed her of several kill attempts on pretty impressive plays. So the teams are back out on the floor getting ready for set number two. We'll see what Union can do here. Again, West Florida knocked off Union earlier in the year down in Pensacola. That score was 3-1. to one. Union able to steal a set from West Florida. Not many teams able to do that this year, at least not very often. This West Florida team is very good as usual. Coach Walton has done an outstanding job down there in her time at West Florida. Another regular season championship. To her credit this year, so congratulations to the Argos on sealing that up last night. And we're off in set number two with the serve from West Florida's Renaka. Union controls that. Do a little free ball over, and they get a kill as Tarosian found herself not in position to go a full swing on that, so she kind of dinks it, and she finds the hole in Union with a one nothing lead. Lauren Burrell back to serve. And we got a kill by West Florida. Bailey Sterling gets her first kill of the night. And on cue, she'll go back and do the serving. It's one-to-one -one here in set number two. Union down one nothing. Overall.
Another point for the Argos, two to one, so they've rallied back. And they've taken the lead here in set number two. Union not able to control that one and can't get it over in three is credited for an ace there for Sterling. Union accepts the serve there, but it's too hard. It goes over the net. Slam back down by West Florida's Zidlow. And a 1-0 lead for Union has turned into a 4-1 deficit rather quickly. Union trying to get something going here. The attack by Harrington is going to be a hair long. It's going to go deep over the back line. It's 5-1 now, Argos. For those fans saying, ah, the, the number one seed will play down tonight. They'll play already clinched the number one seed. They have nothing left to play for. Au contraire, this team is, is eyeing some postseason play, trying to improve their region standing. They can't afford any kind of letdown, nor would you expect them to. This is a well-coached team and a dynamic program at Pensacola. West Florida volleyball program. So they still got a lot to play for. This team's looking for a deep postseason run. And hope they represent the GSC extremely well as they roll into postseason play. There's an attack by Jordan Moore. And they call a touch. No, they don't call a touch. Now Union Coach Blackburn asking for somebody to look at that. All the players had a call for a touch. Can't believe it. Coach Blackburn is not, not happy with that call. Jordan Moore had the kill. It's called long, and they say it was not touched. So it'll be 7-2, to two, Argos, and the serve back to the Argos. Brazil doing the serving there. Reese Owens with the attack. <laughs> They called it out again, but this time the referee steps in and did say there was a touch. So Union will get that point. So finally, they call a touch. Seven to three. Argos with the lead. Threw it back to serve for Union. Handled by West Florida. And the attack. Handled by Union. Jordan Moore hammers it down, but it's returned back over to Union side. And Jordan Moore will try it again, but blocked by the Argos. That's going to be number 14, and Zildo with that block. And she went to celebrate and went to lean on somebody, and that teammate moved, and she almost went to the ground. Good catch by another teammate. And the celebration there after that block. Eight to three, Argos. That's going to be an ace as it goes off the back line defense of Union and goes in the wrong direction. So back to serve again for the Argos, Martin, Jackie Martin. It's nine to three, Argos. Nice crowd here at Union. This final game of the regular, or about final game of the season for Union Volleyball. There's a kill for Union. Stefanovic from Serbia gets her first kill of the afternoon. She had a pretty big night last night. Seven or eight kills, if I'm not mistaken. Union's game against Auburn Montgomery. Nine to four, Argos leading. Cross court set there. Union's handled the play. Terosian with the attack. It's going to be handled by West Florida. A ah, quick dink there by the setter for West Florida. Moulton kind of caught Union off guard. Instead of setting her player, she kind of dinked it sideways and found the gap. 10 to 4, Argos lead. What an impressive squad, this Argos team. What a season they've put together. As we mentioned, 14 and 1 in the regular season.
their only loss to Auburn Montgomery, the team Union played last night. It was a 3-2 to two win for Auburn Montgomery over West Florida. It's the only conference blemish on their record. 11-5, Argos leading this one. Moulton back to serve, Columbus, Ohio native. Trojan handles that one. She'll get a chance for the attack. Kind of dinks it over. It's nicely handled by West Florida. They'll free ball it back over to Union. Good heads up play there. Now there's going to be an attack by Hope Harrington. Mama Marsha can cheer for that one. Hope Harrington with the kill. We can hear the cheers all the way from Spokane, Washington. So Hope Harrington gets her first kill of the afternoon. She's a freshman on this squad. You just got a lot of young players on this team. They said they're missing postseason play this year, but they've spent the last several years in the tournament. Climbed all the way up a couple years ago as a three seed. Advanced all the way to the championship game. Last year, excuse me, advanced to the championship game as the two seed. Lost to this West Florida team last year. The best record for Union NCAA-wise. Again, they had some great years in the NAI. National tournament appearances, conference championships. A plenty for the Union volleyball program. And they've got their wheels under. Like I said, they've been in tournament play four straight years. And then this year are going to miss it. But they're not that far off. Got some great young players. A brand new head coach. Expect a lot of great things out of this Bulldog team getting back into tournament contention next year. And didn't miss it by much this year. Only a couple of games out of getting that last spot. Thirteen to seven, the Argo lead. Sterling with the serve. Another block. The same name, we've called her several times, Zidlow. She gets another block. It's three blocks in the game. Make that four blocks in the game for Zidlow. West Florida digs that big attack by Union. Union handles it over. And they'll get a point as Union handled that free ball. And then Gracie Tacker, the setter, found an empty spot on the floor and just dinked it right to it. 14 to 8 is the score. Hope Harrington with the serve for Union. And another kill for the Argos. Jackie Martin gets that one. Brazil back to serve. No blocks in the game so far for Union. Six block assist for the Argos so far. They've dominated the net there tonight, or excuse me, this afternoon. Many of them coming from Jenna Zidlow is listed at six foot. She's from Kansas. And she has been outstanding on that net today for the Argos. 16 to 9 the lead. Union will have the serve. It'll be up to freshman Ashley Pruitt. Been six aces in the game for West Florida. Union has one ace to their credit, speaking of serving. Now Zidlow, the blocking legend, gets her chance to attack, and she smashes that one down. Nothing Union can do with that one. Didn't even get contact on it. And she gets the kill, makes it 17-9. to Zidlow's fourth kill of the night. She's putting up numbers in several categories for this Argo team. Reese Owens with the attack. Nice dig, and they chase it down. They do. It'll be a back row attack, but it'll be into the net, so it'll be Union Point. Nice attack there. Nice 
hit by Reese Owens really put West Florida back on their heels on that. The, the dig was successful, but it went kind of straight up. They weren't able to really get any kind of forward momentum on that, and their attack went into the net. 17 to 10 is the score. That one's going to be, that should have been a four. They've called it, they've called it, they've called it. The whistle's not working, apparently. Nobody heard it. Everybody kept playing. That ball was hit into the net by West Florida. So they got a call of a four on them. The Union point, 17 to 11. Lady Bulldogs still trail. There's going to be another massive kill there by Zidlow. Again, not touched by the Union defense. Just hammers it straight down and so hard, so fast. Not enough reaction time for that kind of speed. 18 to 11, Argos leading. The attack by Owens, handled by West Florida. Another attack by Martin. Back to Union. It's going to be a hit by Terosian. It's going to be touched. So it'll be a Union point. Terosian gets her kill. Marie Terosian from Hoffman State, Illinois. She's a sophomore on this team. She was part of that tournament run team last year. Has some significant time off the bench for that team. So she'll be called on to kind of step up as she Helps get Union back into the tournament. First time in five seasons that Union has not been to the postseason. There's an attack. Blocked up by Union. Still in play. It's going to be Union's point. West Florida could not dig it up. It's going to be 18-13. Union's chipping away slightly. Back within five. Baby Slaughter back to serve for Union. Slaughter the libero today. For the Lady Bulldogs. Monaco with the attack. Union gets it back up over to West Florida's side, but then another dink by the setter, Malton, and leads to an Argo point. She's done that exceptionally well tonight. It's a great asset. We had a, you know, a player last year, but Jordan Vick could do that extremely well, could just find the holes in the defense from the setter position and just pick those little holes apart, and we've seen that tonight with Malton. Union thought they had a four count, and the hit by Union Stefanovic goes out of bounds. It's West Florida, an amazing job pulling that back up. Now they're talking. The referees are talking. I'm not going to change anything. I think they're making sure, but a little like there might have been a Both coaches are asking them something on that play. It was just a weird play. West Florida, an outstanding job of keeping that ball alive, and they got it back over the net to Union to hit. Union hit it out of bounds. Nobody arguing that call. They're just kind of a, a weird play, but a great play by West Florida to keep it alive. They get a kill there. Pushes their lead to 20-14. to 14. But Both coaches have been given an explanation of why something was or was not done. Not really sure what they were asking about on that last play, but both coaches were asking questions on it. Whistle blows. It'll be somebody in the net for West Florida. It's going to be Union Point, 20 to 15. Set number two. West Florida leads 1-0. Marie Tarosian back to serve for Union. The Illinois native. Big kill there. You saw that one coming. Number 13, that's Sterling. We called her name a few times. Seems like she goes and gets a kill, then goes to serve. She's done that on both of her kills. She served the next point. 21 to 15. Sterling back to serve. Good serve there as Union can't handle it. Sends it straight back over the net. And right there waiting is Zidlow for the kill. Zidlow smacked it right back down in Union's side. It's 22 to 15. Zidlow, her fifth kill of the night. Middle of the afternoon. Congratulations to the Union 
Men's and women's basketball teams are both victorious today in their crossover tournaments. Both of them off to undefeated starts. The women are 4-0. The men are 2-0 to start their basketball seasons. Time out on the floor. Union calls it 23-15 here in set number two. West Florida in control. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after these messages. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Welcome back to Fred DeLay Gymnasium, the campus of Union University. Jackson, Tennessee. Right on aisle 40 between Memphis and Nashville. Beautiful day of weather today. Sun is out. Temperature is in the 50s. Baseball team finishing their fall inner squads up there this weekend. 23 to 15 here inside the gym. West Florida leading. They're leading one set to none and fixing to go up two to one. Excuse me, two nothing, barring a impressive comeback by the Lady Bulldogs. A point by West Florida there. It'll be set point as Union called for being in the net. Reese Owens, long hair, may have got in the net there. 24 to 15 set point. West Florida looking to go up two sets to none right here. Back to serve is Sterling. Union controls it. The attack is going to be out of bounds. And point for West Florida. 25 to 15 is that final. Two sets to none the lead. We'll take a break here. The five minutes between sets two and three. It's a little extended break. Enjoy these sponsors. We thank them for helping us bring you GSC Volleyball here on Flow Sports. We'll be back after this break. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. When you hear our name, know that it comes with a promise to give back to the community that built us. A promise to provide a human touch in a world that is becoming more automated. Ever since we put our roots down in Jackson in 1996, we have aspired to be community focused by supporting programs and organizations that are important to our city. At First Bank, it is our mission to be present in our community and to continue the belief that when you bank local, you get more. Member FDIC.
Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. Welcome back to Fred Delay Gymnasium here on the campus of Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Two sets to none is the lead for West Florida here. The final regular season games of the year for the Gulf South volleyball season. West Florida has clinched the number one seed. They will be the top seed going into next week's conference tournament. Union season will come to an end after today's game. First time in five years they've not made the conference tournament. They were the two seed last year, went all the way to the championship game before losing to this West Florida team in the GSC championship last year. Union under first-year head coach Kristen Blackburn, a former player for Union, part of those some of those conference tournament teams for the Lady Bulldogs. She had the tough task of replacing six starters lost out of the seven, if you count the libero, from last year's team. So getting her feet wet, jumping in the fire right away. Gargos will get the first point as Union gets a miss hit there on that attack. Hannah Hamful went up for it. The mistimed her jump just a little bit. Really won nothing, Argos. They already lead two sets to none. Again, this Argo team 14 and 1 in the GSC regular season, 22 and 7 overall. And some of those losses early in the year, they went and played in some of these preseason tournaments, you might call them. And they played some really tough teams, some ranked teams. So some of those losses, you're like, wow, seven losses. But they, they played some pretty quality opponents early in the year. But they've dominated the GSC once again. Their only loss was a 3 2 loss to Auburn Montgomery, who ended up being the third seed, Union's opponent last night. So this Argo team. Trying to keep their momentum going as they go into postseason play, trying to improve their regional bid. Make their postseason as efficient as possible. Big time hammer kill there for West Florida, two to one. It gets high fives, does Joyner as she comes out of the game. She got the big kill there. She's got eight in the game. Her and Martin have the team lead. Game high of eight kills. Zildo has six kills for the Argos. Union gets a free ball back over to West Florida. West Florida will handle it. Look for the kill. Blocked back over by Union. It's going to be a block for Union as Jordan Morgan on there. And you might throw in Riso when she was there. Also, not sure from this angle if she's got a hand on it. But definitely Jordan Morgan on that block. And it makes it 2-2 two to two here in set number three. Tarosian leading Union with five kills. Owens has four. Jordan Moore just one. She had 13 last night. So a tale of two, two matches if you look at the results from last night and tonight as far as who's leading Union in kills. There's another big kill for the offense for the Argos. Three to two. Back in serve. Jackie Martin for the Argos. Her team up by one. Gets an ace out of it as Union couldn't dig it up. It's four to two. Argos here in set number three. Already leading two sets to none. That serve. Goes into the net by Martin. Four to three. Union's within one. Ashley Pruitt will get the serving honors for the Lady Bulldogs. Appreciate everyone listening to our broadcast on Flow Sports. Again, this is Stephen Aldridge filling in for Steve Beverly. He's normally on the mic for these ball games. He had a family in Vin he had to go to this weekend, so he was out last night and today. He'll be back for basketball. Longtime legend here at Union Sports Broadcasting, Steve Beverly. Appreciate all he does. The point will go to the Argos as Union couldn't track it down. Good effort by the Lady Bulldogs. Sliding over near the bleachers trying to track down that ricochet off that attack. But it'll go point Argos. Five to three, the Argos lead. Back to serve. 
is Bracken Filibero. Meg Bracken. And point Argos. Union can't get that one in. Six to three. The top three seeds in the tournament are set. Argos one. Huntsville is two. Auburn Montgomery is the three seed. Four through eight will be decided after the finals are posted today. The field is set. Just the seeds are a little, need some work done. It's going to be another kill by the Argos. And Bracken continues to serve as she stretches out the Argo lead to seven to three. Big time kill there. Reese Owens brought the hammer on that one for the Lady Bulldogs. Jonesboro, Arkansas native, and she'll go back to serve right on cue, seven to four. Reese Owens, the lone, ret lone returning starter from last year's team. Hits that one into the tape of the net. Falls back to the wrong side, so service error makes it eight four. Union just one ace today, seven for the Argos so far in this match. Hope Harrington with the attack that's blocked back over to Union side. Union tries again. It's going to be out of bounds by Tarozzi and hit just a tad high, and it goes long. Nine to four, Argos leading. Harrington again with the attack, handled by the Argos. Back to the Union side, the attack by Sterling is going to be a kill for her. So it got to the libero, but just could not handle it. Too much power on it. It went all the way back to the back wall. Ten to four now. Moulton with that serve for the Argos, Union. As the attack, Trojan blocked back over to her side. She'll try again. Argos handle this one. We have another attack. It's going to go long. So Oliver, Alex Oliver, first time we've called her name. From Jasper, Alabama, hits that one just a hair long. It didn't miss by much. Just past that back line, right by the foot of the side of the uh, line judge. Didn't miss by much. There's an ace by Hope Harrington. The freshman from Spokane, Washington, that we talked about. Nice ace there. Just the second ace of the night or the afternoon for Union. She back to see if she can do it again. Handled by West Florida. Another attack. It's going to be out. Sterling. It hit the net, changed its trajectory, and Kent just out of bounds on that sideline there over by the benches if you're looking that way. 10 to 7, Union trailing. Harrington still serving. Here's the attack by West Florida. They're going to get it. Sterling gets another one. Sterling, five kills in the game now for Sterling for West Florida. Nebraska native. Stefanovic for Union, powerful, powerful attack, but handled by West Florida. And now the big lefty, Joyner, hammered that one back down, and not much Union could do about that one. She's something special, ladies and gentlemen. Just a powerful hitter on that front line for the Argos. Jemiah Joyner from Lake Wales, Florida. She's a junior. So the GSC will have to deal with her for at least another year. 12 to 8. West Florida leads. Union hanging around here. Down by four. Gracie Tacker back to serve for the Lady Bulldogs. Gracie Tacker, South Haven, Mississippi native from DeSoto Central High School. Union with the attack. Tarosian, big hit, but it's going to go out. Too long there. He goes off or outside the back line there. 
13 to 8, Argos lead. Hample, senior, honored about last night. Has her attack handled by West Florida and Union. Cannot stop the attack. Get us another point for the Argos, 14 to 8. Argos pulling away a little bit here. Sterling back to serve for the Argos. Union with the attack. Hample with another one. Going to get a kill out of that one as it goes off the back row of the Argo defense and bounces off the back wall. She had some, a little mustard on that one, did Hample. Hannah Hample, as we mentioned, a senior. She was honored last night from Huntsville, Alabama. Went to Hazel Green High School. She's had a nice career for Lady Bulldogs. Been a part of postseason play all of her career. And she will certainly be missed. Sang the national anthem last night on senior night. She's done that several times during her career. She sung the national anthem. Tremendous job. 15 to 9, Argos leading with the serve. Hample gets another try. Argos handle this one. Blocked by Union. Reese Owens gets that block, and you can throw Jordan Moore in there as the assist. She was right there with her. Nice block by the Lady Bulldogs there. It's the second block of the night. Union. They block that one back into Argo territory, but they'll play it. Union has it now. Dink over to West Florida, and they handle it, and West Florida dinks it right back over to Union, and they get a point out of it. So the Argos win the battle of dinks there, back-to-back -back dinks, and West Florida gets that one. The setter Moulton finds the hole in the defense for Union. 16 to 10, Argos lead. Hope Harrington has her attack blocked back over to Union side, and they'll try it again. Another block. That one, they say it didn't block, it hit the net. So, attack air there by Hample. It's 17 to 10. Union has the ball with the attack. Handled by West Florida. Another attack. Back to Union. Reese Owens with a kill. Not touched. Reese Owens hammered that one down into an empty area on the floor. Nobody got a hand on it for West Florida. It'll be a Union point, 17-11. Nice job there. A nice rally. One of the longer rallies of the afternoon. Reese Owens able to get a kill on that one. Give her six kills on the afternoon. She now leads Union in that category with most kills as West Florida hits that one into the net. Another Union point. It's 17 to 12. Union back within five here in set number three. West Florida leads 2 nothing. Union's got to win out. As we mentioned last night, this team <coughs> coming into the weekend, Union knew they were not Going to make postseason play, but what an effort they put up last night in that loss to the three-seed AUM. Very close sets. The ones they lost, they actually, they actually got a win in one of those sets. Playing the number one seed here today and just not, not giving up. Playing a little ball. You didn't expect either one of these teams to let anything down. West Florida still playing for a lot. Postseason seeding. For regionals, a lot of stuff on the line for the Argos. Union giving it what they've got left here today as well. 18 to 12, Argos lead. Union gets it over. Argos will have an attack. Tipped by Union, now Union with the attack. Back row, they'll flip it over a free ball. Attacked by West Florida. It's going to be into the net, Sterling. 
That's one of the few she's missed today. She's been spectacular. Five kills. For Sterling tonight, or this afternoon rather. Just missed that one a little bit, hit it to the top of the net. Reese Owens will serve for Union. It's 18-13. Blocked back by Union. Hopes Harrington does that by herself. Blocks that attack. Back over into the West Florida area. And that'll be Point Union. Union back within four here in set number three. 18 to 14. Again, a lot of fight in these Lady Bulldogs. And that speaks well of the coaching staff, the players themselves. No quit in this team. Even though your season, you're in your last game of the year. You like to see that. 19-14 there as that ball is hit by West Florida off the Union player. It's going to be a point on that attack. And Argos have the serve. The setter Moulton with the serve, Union with the attack. Stefanovic gets it down, and West Florida, nice job by getting it back over, just to get it over. Harrington with the attack, handled by West Florida. And the back row attack is going to be into the net by West Florida is Martin. Smacks that one pretty hard, but it hits again the top of the tape. Stays on the West Florida side. It'll be Union point. Back within 4-19-15. Hope Harrington to serve for Union. Freshman from Spokane, Washington. Set. Attack. Big time kill. When you need a kill to stop a little rally for Union, you go to the player that's got you here all year. Demaya Joyner for West Florida. The junior from Lake Wells, Florida. Gets that kill, stops the Union run here in set number three. She's now got 10 kills on the night. Her and Martin both have 10. Both players are in double figures. The only two players in double figures in kills. There goes Stavanovic for Union. She gets her third kill of the night. It's back to a four-point deficit for Union, 20 to 16. Gracie Tacker in to play. Excuse me, in to serve. 2016 here in set number three. Union's down two sets to none to West Florida, so Union having to win out here. Giving it all they've got, trying to extend this match to a four set. Good job by Union to get a free ball over. Nice job, nice hustle there. Going back to Joyner. She hammers that one down. Union able to get it up. Let's see if they can get it over. They'll free ball it over. So they survived that hit by Joyner. Little dink is tried, and Jordan Moore slaps it right back over into the West Jordan, or excuse me, West Florida side, and nobody there to handle it. So a point for Union. That was some just quick reflexes. There is Joiner smacked it over to Union side on the attack, and Jordan Moore able to kind of knock it back over to the West Florida side, and falls in good. Union within three now here in set number three, 20 to 17. Union with the attack. They'll go to Trojan. Trojan hits it. West Florida back over with it. Union has the attack again. Hample, a kill into the block. And it blocked down onto West Florida side. It's 2018. Union not going away quietly. Timeout on the floor from West Florida. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the rest of set number three. a Christian college or starting the college search process, I want to take a second to tell you about my school, Union University in Jackson, Tennessee. Union is a private four-year university known for its rigorous academics, Christ-centered community, and the success of its graduates. My favorite part about Union is the faculty. The professors here are so intentional about helping students grow not only academically, but also spiritually. You should check out Union for yourself. Come for a visit. I know you'll love it. At Union University, you'll be transformed.
no quit. This Union Volleyball squad, 20 to 18. West Florida leads it. Union has the ball with the serve. Gracie Tacker back to serve. And we mentioned it early in the broadcast. No quit in either one of these teams. They both playing for something. West Florida trying to improve their postseason stance. Union playing for some pride here on their home floor in what is going to be their last game of the regular season. Not giving in. Not giving up. Down two sets to none. And they've rallied all the way back. That point goes to West Florida. It's 21-18. to 18. West Florida leading with the serve. Been a well-played match on both sides. Again, this West Florida team, the number one seed in the GSC regular season champions, and they'll be the one seed going into next week's tournament. Here's the attack by Terosian, handled by West Florida. They'll get an attack out of it, handled by Union. Big time kill there by Hample. She got right where she wanted it there. 21 to 19. Union back within two. Trojan with the serve. Attack. Nice kill there by West Florida's Martin. Jackie Martin, excuse me. Called Martin's name a lot tonight. She's been very active. 11 kills now. Excuse me, make that 12 kills now in the game. She leads all players with those 12 kills, hitting 381. That's impressive. 22 to 19, West Florida leading. Another one from Hample. The Union faithful getting behind the Lady Bulldogs right here. Knowing this is their last regular season home game. They're showing they've got a little mustard left. Not giving in, and nor will you expect them to. 22 to 20. Davy Slaughter with that serve. The attack's going to be out. Do they look for a touch? Nobody touched. It'll be out of bounds. That attack by Zidlow. Zidlow's had an outstanding night. Eight kills, five blocks. Great night for West Florida. Zildo. Union within one, 22-21. Hample. Gets it over. West Florida handles it. They'll have an attack. Sidlow gets the attack, handled by Union. Harrington thinks it over, and Union has tied this set at 22 to 22. President Oliver over there leading the cheers for Union as the crowd starts to get into this one, and why not? What an effort by the Lady Bulldogs to stick around. Timeout by West Florida. We'll take it with them 22-22 when we come back. Buddy, I'm not feeling too good after all this summer heat. Yeah, me either. I think I'm about to blow a coil. Let McCoy's Heating and Air give your unit a little TLC. Maintenance is the key to staying worry-free. Right now, schedule a one-time cleaning for only $90. Call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's got us in great shape, unlike that guy. Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. York and McCoy's Heating and Air. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. 22 to 22, Union has come all the way back and tied this one up. Has the serve. Davy Slaughter from Mount Julia, Tennessee will get the serve. West Florida handles it but sends it right back to Union. Union with the attack. Hample hits it. West Florida will get a free ball over for Union. Union will have another attack at it. Hope Harrington misses the tip. She tried to dink it over into a ball into a bare spot and it rolled off the net back on Union side. Just missed hit it by a hair. She had a great idea and the spot was wide open and she just just missed hit it. 23-22. Argos lead this one. What an exciting set number three.
People getting their money's worth here in set number three. This has been fun. Enum will free ball it back to West Florida, 23-22. There's an attack by West Florida, blocked back by Union. Hope Harrington leads that block. A couple of other players up there with her, but she was the main one in that one. 23 to 23 here in set number three. West Florida leading two sets to none. Ashley Pruitt back to serve for Union. Handled by West Florida. Here's the attack. Blocked again. Hope Harrington right there. Zidlow. Two straight times she's had her attack blocked by Harrington, the freshman. Union now leading 24 to 23. Set point for the Lady Bulldogs. Pruitt back to serve. West Florida with the attack. Played by Union. They'll get a free ball over to West Florida, but it's still alive. Union kept the dink alive. Play still going. Blocked back by Union. West Florida has it. And it's going to be a point West Florida as they slap it over. It's going to be that instead of the set, Moulton just kind of popped it over. Union got their hands on it, but it went out of bounds. 24-24. So West Florida survives the set point, and they tied up. Now they have the serve. Bracken, Meg Bracken back to serve for West Florida. Handled by Union. Reese Owens with the attack, and it goes in. Right in that back corner, West Florida let it fall, hoping it would be out, but it landed right in there, got inside by about a foot or so. Right inside that back corner. Another set point for Union. Reese Owens back to serve. Hits the net. Handled by West Florida. They'll attack. Attack is up. It's going to be a kill for West Florida. Alex Oliver gets that kill for the Argos. And we're 25-25. What a set number three. Union down two sets to none. And they say, we know our season's over after today. We want to keep playing as long as we can. And what? You can't blame that. What heart by this Union team. Many teams would have just packed it in and said, hey, great season, we'll try again next year. Let's win one, why don't you? Attack by Tarosian Point Union. It goes off the blockers, out of bounds from West Florida, so Union, a third straight set point. Can they get this one in? Hope Harrington to serve after Tarosian's big kill that time. West Florida handles it. The attack. By Union, it's going to go back over, and it'll be out of bounds. That kill there, hard hit ball by Oliver. Man, she hammered that ball so hard that it went off the back line defender for Union all the way back over the net on West Florida's side, but out of bounds on West Florida's side. So a lot of juice on that one. 26-26 is the score. West Florida blocks the Union attack. Union will try it again. Over to West Florida. They'll have the attack here. Joiner. Gets the big kill there. She's been massive all night for the uh, West Florida team. Demaya Joyner. 11 kills now in the game for Joyner. Her and Martin both in double figures. Martin has 12. Joyner has 11. The only two in double figures for either team. Set point for West Florida, and they're going to win it 28-26 to 26 as that ball got into the net. Union could not get it out. What a set number three. Union never giving up on that. And the crowd here giving these Lady Bulldogs a standing ovation. What an effort. What an effort by the Lady Bulldogs. Congratulations again to the West Florida Argos. Regular season champions heading into next week's tournament as the number one seed. Here's some final stats on this game, and we'll wrap this one up. West Florida wins this one 3-0. They took set number one, 25-11, then 25-15, and then 28-26. They had 46 kills to Union's 26. The hitting percentage, 298 for West Florida, 079 for Union. Assist, 43 for West Florida, 26 for Union. Aces, 7-2 in favor of West Florida. Service errors, 6-1 in favor of West Florida. 
block solos. Union had two of those. Block assist. It was 10 to 6. West Florida had 10 of those. Union had six. Diggs, it was 35 to 28 in favor of West Florida. So a 3-0 win for the Argos. And again, they'll be the number one seed going into next week's conference tournament. So congratulations to the Lady Bulldogs. Again, their season coming to an end, but uh, a team that never gave up. They've been in the tournament five straight years. Will not make it this year, but looking to be back next year after this season. Appreciate you listening. This has been a broadcast of Flow Sports, the Gulf South Conference, and its member institutions. Good afternoon, everybody. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.